It's happening, my wonderful people. Yes, some wiki speaks out. Remember, we brought you up to speed that Atiku had to storm River State to, to ask Wiki a very serious question as to why did you shut down my campaign, uh, you know, office in your state? What's, what's going on? You know, you had to ask those serious questions. And at the end of the day, you and I are living witnesses as to what has gone on. And um, a lot of people are still very you know, still very unsure and wondering what exactly is going on here in all of this. So, yes, on Wiki, this is the reply he gives to Halaji Atiku Abubakar as he storms the state to understand what's going on in all of this. He says, why I shut down your campaign office in Port Harcourt? Atiku, you don't need to come to get that information. You just need to know that law has been broken and there are consequences when law is broken the river state governor yes some wiki has explained why he shut down the campaign office of the people democratic party pdp presidential candidate halaji atiku abubaka in port harcourt report has emerged earlier that wiki ordered the closure of the atiku okowa's presidential campaign office in the state capital Late Nigeria reports that the office, which is located in the GROA Port Harcourt, was sealed off in the early hours of early hours of Friday, based on order of the River State government. Explaining the reason for its action, Wiki said the campaign office was sealed off because those concerned did not get approval from the government before engaging in the activities which they carried out in the state. The governor said he invoked Executive Order 21 and 22 to give legal support to the sealing off of the campaign office. Wiki disclosed this at the inauguration of the 17.2 kilometer long Berry Kono Road in Brunner community of Kahinia local government area of the state. According to him, a few days ago, we went to Port Harcourt and we got the approval even from the court that such things cannot be allowed. We are talking about Executive Order 21 and 22 that have gone, that have now been passed into law by the State House of Assembly. We did not send the chairman of Port Harcourt Council to go and bring it, bring it the building down. We don't have that power. We have the power, but we don't carry out such activities. Reports that Wiki has been at loggerhead with the PDP leadership of the presidential candidate over the failure of party national chairman Ayo to resign his position to pave way for a Southern has continued to widen. The Wiki and the G5 are aggrieved with the PDP leadership due to the rotation of key position in the party not going as it should recall that the recall that the nation's main opposition party pdp zoned its presidential tickets to the national chairman to the north the same time the presidential candidate is also from the north this we cannot allow to continue if Atiku wants our support he knows what to do so these are some of the things going on these are some of the things happening and every single person knows exactly what is going on with the People Democratic Party. The days upon us have become very clear, crystal clear, that unless they all decide to take a, take the bull by the horn and ensure that we do not allow you know, some things to hold us down, we may not be able to get to the very bottom and to the truth of what is going on. Today's day and age, as you can see for yourself with all that is happening, it is clear and it is clear to every one of us that things must not remain the same way they are. If we are going to be able to get any iota of truth in all of this, then things must change. Okay, things must change and then we must ensure that we are rising up to the change. We are rising up to the order of change and ensuring that Nigeria becomes all that is due for her to be. Okay, it is an urgent call, not for one, but for all. Every single person 
must rise up every single person we must begin to you know put our hands to work and ensure that the nation is getting all the desired and necessary things to pave way and to push her into her destiny because the people you think are leading okay the, the people you think that they, they have something for this country really sincerely speaking you must have you must understand that there is there is an issue here do they really want this country to be better or they want it to be at their beck and call yeah they are the ones deciding who eats and who who does not who gets what and who does not get what so looking at things you can see that it is it is unimaginable to mention but a few how things have been we must we must all now work at it and ensure that we refuse to allow ourselves okay to be caged down we can't allow that we can't allow ourselves to be caged down by people who truly sincerely do not share okay the, the share our our dream and desire for nigeria to be a better place have you seen how they are going about things how many of them have successfully convinced you that you can vote for them how many of them can you beat your chest and say such and such a, a, an individual has done everything that i think you know he or she deserves to get my vote you must really consider that before you make the next move and jump in you must really you know give answer to that so these are some of the things going on and um, every single one of us must begin to ensure that we rise up to it and bring nigeria out of the spell of you know that it has come to find herself sadly we fall, find ourselves falling into the hands of bad leadership over the years but this must change this must change it calls for serious work to be done nobody can afford to allow the same thing to hold us down we cannot allow it okay we can't allow it we must ensure that we are rising up to it and we are doing everything humanly speaking possible to make sure that at the end of the day okay okay everything that we, that is needed to bring us to where we ought to be we are doing that because nigeria belongs to us first and foremost it belongs to every single one of us it belongs to every single one of us please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now have a good day bye bye